Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 build 18.305. This is the new build that we received yesterday December 19th 2018 and it's built uh, for 18.305 is built for 19H1 the next version of Windows. Install went uh, faster than usual actually it was the fastest install I've seen on this machine so it seems to have, um, I don't know, they've changed something because it was um, actually faster. This is an old Core 3 machine that usually takes at least three, about three hours and a half to update. Uh, this was done in less than three hours in this case. It was faster. I could see that the progression for the install was faster than usual. So they seem to have changed things in here because uh, it does seem to have been working uh, pretty well. So uh, what uh, also I have in here, I've got some glitches in here. Uh, sometimes the, so you see it here right now, the uh, notification or the action center, the buttons don't appear. I've noticed that sometimes I'll type here in the uh, search box and it's gonna crash the Explorer. So the, the uh, basically the bottom, uh, all the you know, taskbar at the bottom is disappearing and I have to redraw and refresh there's a few things happening in here and sometimes I've also seen some sluggishness in the way that the uh, that all of it works so it's uh, there's some glitches in this one that um, I've not seen in previous builds so if for, I would say this is the buggiest build that I've seen in a little while so if you're wondering should I install it or wait I don't know it depends on you because it is buggier than than what I'm used to actually uh, the first item that, uh, of course, they've changed is the simplified layout. So when you have a new user account, if you install Windows from uh, f uh, basically from uh, a clean install. Now here I don't have any tiles, but the tiles, the way that it's presented, we've always noticed that, and I was the first to complain about it, a very clogged start menu when you do a clean install. They kind of simplified that and made it a little sleeker, a little better with a one column design. It doesn't mean it's still better. It might be still clogged in a different way, but they are actually trying to make the start menu a little cuter. Uh, you, here I've removed all the tiles, so <laughs> there's nothing much in here, but apparently the experience is better and uh, especially with a new user. I'll try to, to I'll check that out today. I'll, I'll create a new, um, a new user on this computer to uh, test it out. Second, a uh, very interesting one. Uh, we talked about it and it's here, the Windows Sandbox. Look at this. This is Sandbox mode. What's Windows Sandbox? It's basically Windows within Windows. That window that you see here is running a Windows 10 um, operating system, but it's stuck within that window. That means if I would put a malware in that window, it will go only infect what's happening in that window. And if I shut it down, it actually will have no effect and everything will disappear from that window. So it's like having a clean install of Windows every time you want to use your, um, uh, you know, a, a test something. Now, that also means that when you shut it down, when you close it, you lose everything that was in here. So it's really for test purposes and uh, every time you start, it's a brand new experience. So it's kind of cool. Um, I will, of course, do more videos on this uh, because I will be testing stuff in here. I will try to run software and, and, and do things. Um, there's a lot of broken things in here, so make sure that you understand that uh, it's not yet fully um, you know, operational, but uh, this is a, a pretty, pretty cool thing. And uh, you know, what's nice is that uh, Often to test things, you have to set up a virtual machine, do things within that virtual machine to see if it works. Well, here it's actually going to basically give you a possibility of testing stuff before you actually install it on your computer. And uh, this is really, really nice. So um, it features are basically all the required files are within Windows 10 Pro and Enterprise. So you don't need to download a virtual machine, which is pretty cool. Now it's not installed by default. There's a way to install it. I'll do a video on the Insider channel to test it out. But 
uh, kind of cool, kind of cool. So every time Windows Sandbox runs, it's as clean as a brand new install of Windows. Nothing persists on the device. Everything is discarded after you close the application. Uh, so it's technically very secure and um, apparently works well and it's apparently very efficient. So uh, here you see that I've actually opened the start menu uh, to have you guys see what it looks like. So you got to turn it on uh, by adding a turn, turn Windows feature on or off and enable Windows Sandbox. I'll show you in the Insider channel how to get this. There are a lot of known issues. The Windows Store is not supported. There's a lot of stuff that might crash within this experience. It's not yet fully implemented. The Windows Security app has a new, uh, kind of a new experience. So um, when you're in Windows Security, one of the things that you had was a um, protection history experience and you could have all the threat history and all the things happening. Now I've got nothing here because right now uh, it's a brand new install so there's nothing much happening. But uh, they've slowly been implementing and making things a little better so easier to use um, in, in here. There's new tamper protection available now. So um, if you go into the um, settings in the virus protection, you could see here that there's a new tamper protection. Prevents others from tampering with important security features. This is nice because sometimes uh, you have somebody or something else trying to modify security features on your PC. You don't want to. Well, that will apparently prevent that. Uh, symbols and Kaomoji are now uh, just a hotkey away. So if you use these uh, emojis and all sorts of uh, things in there, um, you have that available. Clipboard history gets a new look. So of course, when you do uh, copy pastes of pictures and text and stuff like that, one of the things that has been noticed is that most of what we copy are actually texts. So now when you, and I'll click uh, Windows V here to have the clipboard history show up, uh, they kind of emphasize text over images. If you remember, images were really big and text was part of their, you know, the experience there. Now everything is kind of put in the same uh, smaller size for pictures, but highlights of text because that's maybe what you want to do based on the experience and the feedback. Uh, it seems that that's what people wanted. And when you right click on one of the options, you have uh, different options available uh, of the different, um, so you know, uh, you can pin, you can delete, you can clear the history and stuff like that. Uh, it's kind of cool to have that around and uh, a lot of people are finding it cool. You can sign in to Windows with passwordless Microsoft accounts. What's that? If you have linked your phone, there's a possibility to link your phone in a way that if you need to log in to your account, you can actually log in using your phone with a um, text code that will be actually sent to you and enter your Windows account with that. So uh, it's a, basically what's called par passwordless phone number that you need to add in there uh, to make sure that the experience works. Streamline Windows Hello pin reset experience to make it a little easier and better to reset your pin if there's some problems. Uh, keep your device running smoothly with recommended troubleshooting. They've uh, changed some of the stuff in the settings. So now you have recommended troubleshooting options that you can actually uh, check out. So you have fixed problems for me without asking. Tell me if a problem gets fixed or ask me before fixing a problem. There are new options in here where you can actually change the way or the behavior of the recommended troubleshooting that applies. Uh, sometimes your computer might you know, tell you in the taskbar, oh, there's a problem with this, you'll be able to change all the way that it actually interacts with you uh, when it's fixing stuff on your device. There's automatic restart and sign on for enterprise. So if you have the enterprise version, there's new ways of uh, automatically signing on, uh, including signing on to the network. Now there's a set of default in the task manager. So um, maybe when you open the task manager, that's not what you want to have. Maybe you want to have something else. Well, if that's the case, what's going to happen is that you can actually go to the options in the task manager 
and in here set default tab you will choose which one will open by default in the task manager you know okay option why not uh, for sure why not um, I don't have it but some of you will a updated settings page so when you go to settings you will actually some of you will actually find that there's a, a kind of a, a, a top um, header if you want that header will have some of the common uh, settings and information that you might want some of you have it some of you had it already in previous builds I still don't have it here but you might see a header with your user account name and stuff like that um, and the um, settings so that's possible uh, something called friendly dates in file explorer so of course one of the things in file explorer is you uh, they've implemented the possibility of course to um, you know go to uh, your download page for example and have your download page um, you know show you the latest thing that you downloaded one of the problems with that is sometimes the dates and you know, this happens very often you have dates and it says for example 0204 2018 is it February 4th or is it the f or is it um, you know uh, the fourth um, no wait I'm mixing up here so you see 0204 2018 uh, let me start over and uh, so you could see is it February 4th or April 2nd you're not sure sometimes especially here we have inverted here in uh, Quebec French it's kind of often inverted with the English so you're not sure you're never sure well they're implementing a feature called friendly dates that will actually make it easier for you to know what are the uh, what's the date and what are the dates of uh, you know that that you're looking at uh, easily which is uh, not bad of an idea I think that is a good idea because it happens so many often that I had things like that happen and just uh, didn't know uh, one of the things they actually have um, implemented back is shadows so you might don't know if you could see it here but there's a slight shadow in behind of the menus and does also if you notice a animation that brings the shadow behind the element of course tweaking the fluent design and the shadow effects so this is one of the things that they are looking at one thing that I talked last time, not mentioned here, separate search and Cortana. Look at that, I've got Cortana on a separate um, little circle here, and search is right here. So they've separated in my computer Cortana and search finally. So this is something that is uh, interesting. So um, it means that uh, that's implemented for me also. And yeah, it's kind of cool. So uh, all sorts of little things like that. Re-releasing new Japanese IME. Um, there's a new Office app for Windows 10, um, and and will of course be compatible with Microsoft 365 options. You can get more done with Cortana and Microsoft To Do app if you do so. So there's new stuff and integration between both of them. Lots of uh, you know problems also, and lots of fixes and many 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 uh, little things that's happening so um, there could be some uh, problems in here I haven't checked if the problem I've got is um, is is in here but I know that uh, I do have a lot of problems with uh, with like I said the uh, the taskbar and the settings menu and you know if I click on the action center it often is blank uh, until it refreshes and everything's back I got these little problems like that. It doesn't, you know, stop me from using the computer, but it is, you know, to know that there are some issues in here. So that's pretty much what I have to say right now on this latest build of Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos. And let me know how it goes for you and what do you think of the new features.